Today, I would like to talk about a purposeful mind. Do not be anxious. Let's exercise having a purposeful mind. Our scripture is Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 9. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, Meditate on these things. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. In today's scripture, the Apostle Paul calls our attention to the state of our minds. And he says, do not be anxious about anything. And he seems to be addressing the mind being in the state of worry to the point that it could possibly lead to anxiety. When you worry, your mind is in a state of unease. Your thoughts might be tossing to and fro about this and that. You may get all worked up to the point where you might start experiencing insomnia. You just can't sleep. Or on the other hand, some people experience fatigue and lack of motivation. It is as if the worry and anxiety have you in a tight grip. Notice physically your muscles can become tense. You may find yourself stressed and worried about something that happened in the past, something that's presently occurring, or something you're worrying could happen in the future. The stress of it all is devastating on our minds and our bodies hypertension, or high blood pressure can manifest all because of worry and anxiety because you are on edge, you're not relaxed, and your mind lacks peace. If we are honest, we all have experienced worry at some point in our lives. And I have personally concluded that worry doesn't solve anything at all. It just makes you feel bad. It can make you feel real miserable. And it is at the point of worry that we stop trusting God. And I conclude that we literally need to make an observation and think about what we have been thinking about. The Apostle Paul says, don't be anxious for anything. Don't be anxious for anything. But in everything, take it to God in prayer and supplication meaning we go to God in a humble and earnest way. And when we do it, 
do it with thanksgiving. You go to God with a thankful heart and express thanks and gratitude for him being in your life and that you can confidently trust him with the issues that are on your heart. He is your place of solace. And when you take your cares to God in that manner, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will absolutely guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So then Paul says, finally, brethren, think about what you're thinking about. Whatsoever things are true, think about it. Whatsoever is noble or honest, it's okay, think about that. Whatsoever things are just or lawful, think on it. Whatsoever things are pure, you can think about that too. Whatsoever things are lovely, think on it. Whatsoever things are of a good report, think about that. And if there is any virtue or anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. And then in verse 9, he says, The things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, do the same. And he is a witness that the God of peace will be with you. So think about what you're thinking about. Correct your thought life and the result will be a peaceful mind and the God of peace will be with you. Dear Heavenly Father, I join in prayer with my sisters and brothers. We've confessed, God, that our thoughts are not always right. Sometimes our thinking is stinking thinking. But you already know the deal on us. And I thank you for not giving up on us. You are our place of solace. We can bring our minds and our hearts to you. And so we present ourselves today asking you, Lord, to give us clarity in our minds and give us healing in our hearts. We can't make it without you. We confess that the enemy comes up against our minds in many different ways. Sometimes it seems to be a challenge on a daily basis. But I thank you, God, that we are not defeated, but we can actually make a conscious choice to surrender our minds and our hearts to you. So we surrender today and we ask you to fill us with your peace that surpasses our understanding. Guard our minds and our hearts, Lord Jesus. We thank you so much for being in our lives. You are worthy of all our praise. And so it is with a grateful heart that we say thank you and we embrace your abundant blessings. And we thank you that you're gonna help us work towards and walk in a purposeful mind so that we can walk in your peace. It is in your name I pray, amen.